Um, I'm going to imitate him for here for you. I, President Trump, I apologize in, in advance if you're offended by this, but there's no way I can communicate the full effect of what I'm doing it in his voice. So here's what he said. Mike, what would happen if somebody came onto the Senate floor and they objected based on the absence of a quorum while the Senate was in a pro forma session? I won't give you the whole thing. It was really long. It was complicated. And I said, sir, I could answer that question. It'd probably take me a few hours. I would have to consult a few Senate rules experts and a couple of other lawyers. But I think I can get you the answer. That's OK. I got to go talk to Johnny. So I found this guy, Johnny. We assembled the necessary lawyers, Senate rules experts. Took us several hours. By the time we got it done, I watched Johnny through this, like, 10, 12-step uh, answer. And I said, you've got this. And all of a sudden, he said, no, no, no. I, you're going to have to come with me to explain it. I can't do it. So I went back to the Oval Office with him. Thought he's probably uh, left by now. It was dark. Walked in. He was on the edge of his, of his seat. Oh, come on in. Pence, Kellyanne Meadows, you know, he, he, he rallied the staff. So I gave him the answer to this question. It was complicated. And uh, at the end of it, he goes, you know, Mike, when the rest of us were 16, we were out chasing girls, doing crazy stuff. And then he gets this really pained look on his face. But then I think about you at that age. And you're not doing that, Mike. You're at home sitting at a desk and you're studying the the Senate rules and the Constitution. Am I right? And I said, well, I did like girls at that age, but yes, you're, you're not far off. I was doing that stuff too. And he goes, I knew it. I knew it. And then he turned to his staff assembled and he said, and yet he has a beautiful wife. I don't know how he did it. 